Hey guys, this is Maskin here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we completed all um the first two the first two worlds, Bomb on Battlefield and Coco Mountain, on 100. In this one, we are taking on the castle. In this episode, we will take taking on some of the castle's various secret stars, and we will be taking on the next level. So for the, for the first secret star here, go ahead and enter this level and this portrait of this Peach, and defeat this, and go ahead and just slide down to the end of this. The others for the other secret star, you just have to beat this thing in under 21 seconds. Um, but it doesn't matter really which one you get first, as long as you get one at the beginning, as long as you get one at all, get them at all. I will, I will we'll see what I get. I just gotta beat this under in 21 seconds to get the other one. But, uh, we fail. So, let's get the regular one. Oh, you know, that's kinda epic right there. I like to get it right there at the end. Oh, whatever. So, guys, I'll see you guys back at the end of this course. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Uh, 28, 28, 20 seconds and 8 in 8 milliseconds. Huh, that's pretty good. And we get the next secret star here. Okay, it's time to take on the next world. So, here we go. We actually start power with this tool it slowly opens. Okay, so now let's head in here. Well, not slowly open, but whatever. So, this is... Womp's Fortress. Let's start here. I give this one a 2 out of 5. Basically, um, because this is a boss fight right here. And, well, the boss is not too hard, but I say getting up there is kind of a pain. But, you know, 2 out of 5 is probably the lowest I'm going to go on this levels, these levels. But, I don't know. And, uh, and actually, guys, um, I think I'm going to do these these levels out of order. Because you actually can get some stars right now that you, do, you can't, that you that you are not supposed to get. But I'll get but I'll get to that when I actually get to that. Because, you know, I actually um, know how to get every single star in here. I just don't know which ones, what they're called. So... Bear with me here. So for this boss fight, basically just like eh, these are thwomps. You're supposed to like um, well not thwomp, well not thwomps, but basically you're supposed to like get this thing, to, this guy to jump on you. Oh, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to get this guy to jump. Oh, jump, trying to jump on you, and he actually crushed me a little bit right there. And then go on his back and do a ground pound. Boom. Yeah, you have to do this three times, and then he'll end up going away. Um, he's not too hard to be honest with you. Um, that's why I, that's what I mentioned earlier. But just like ground pound on him, and I noticed that they have bandages. Is it, that's I think that's to keep them together. Come on, Mario! Ouch! Stupid Mario! Hey, you should. Hey, you should fall off the edge here, right there. I don't know. Uh, no. Yes, our power. First power star here. Okay, that completes this level, and I will see you guys in the next level. Hang on. Okay, it's time for the second level here, the top of the fortress. I guess one, uh, two out of five, basically, because it's just getting, you're just supposed to get up to the top of the fortress, they just extended it a little, they just ex extended the fortress a little bit more. And there's like a little bit way to get, there's like a little e easier way to get up there. You want to? Show them the, the, but the legit way is kind of a little bit longer, but I, 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 it's not that much to get into. And I'm gonna make a jump. Whee! We made it. Ow. Almost fell off there. <laughs> I say that today my voice sounds a little bit more clearer than usual, or a little bit more, like, deeper or something like that. But, yeah. Sorry if you can hear those fans in the background, it's kind of getting hot today, and you know, I've got some fans in my house, you know, fans. You know, I'm ga I gotta stay, I gotta stay cold, guys, you know, I don't want to get off, I don't want to get, end up getting a sun, getting a sunburn, or getting it too hot, but I'm inside, so I don't get a sunburn. Woohoo! And getting up to the top of the fortress, we get get the top of the fortress star so let's get to, let's get it to the bottom of the fortress now okay the third star here shooting to the wild blue but um act for, actually for now i'm just going to do this one thing it's uh, this is a two out of five difficult difficulty right team i'm going to actually do shoot to the wall a two out of five and i'm going to just do, do shoot to the wall instead of shoot into the wild blue because well it just makes it a little bit more it's just a harder star and i like to get done with it sooner because it, it makes more sense to do this one first in my opinion, and stuff, and actually when I was, like, getting ready to do this, I decided to go ahead and do it, but whatever. So go ahead, for this one, just go ahead and get in the cannon, and shoot at the wall, finally. Yeah, it's relevant to its name, just shoot at the wall, and then the star appears, yay. We can go get it now. Yeah, this, this star is called shoot into the wall, but, um, we'll get the real star next, I'm just gonna get this out of order for now, because, you know, it just, like, makes more sense to me right now. I don't know why. I just want to get it first. Okay, and head up here and we get shooting to the wall. 
And now it's time for the actual course shoot into the wild blue. I guess one on one out of five. Because it's actually just really easy to get to it. First off, just go over here back to where we were. But don't fall off like I just did right there. Dummy. Yeah. But just go over here to the to the cannon and shoot to the wall. Shoot into the wild blue. Literally just shoot into the wild blue, like right over there. Turn right there. Yeah, right there, right there. Shoot into the wild blue now, guys. I'm shooting. Watch this. I'm flying. Yay! Oh, epic failure. And I hope I can get done with this course in here today. Yeah, because I think I can actually get done with each course in like one video, depending on which one it is. Like the first couple courses, yeah, they're easy to get done with one video, but I don't know. So heading over here now, we made it. Let's take this pole down here and like strip your way down like a stripper, and then head for the star. Yay, star! Time for the next course. Okay, it's time for red coins on the floating aisle. I give the some of the red coins on the floating aisle. I give this a three out of five because the red coins are pretty hidden and like two of them are like really well hidden. The first red for the first red coin, basically head up here and you will find that it's on top of one of the it's like over one of these thwomps. Well, not they're not called thwomps, but I, I'm gonna call them side thwomps. You know, side thwomps. But that's a thwomp right there. That thing right there is a thwomp. I always thought of it, I always thought of it has I you know for for some reason I always thought its name had something to do with the blue color. I don't know if it's blue. But head on top of this the one with the second red coin right up here. And next one's behind this piranha plant. Third the the other one's behind this thing. And for the next one, just you just want to basically take a little bit of a downer. Yeah, it's right down here. It's a little Okay, yeah. This is not like this is not like the first. This is not like bomb on battlefield. Like you have to like actually like get up there with some big jumps like this. Yay, we got it! Yay, I'm a flying boy. So graceful, sure you're all jealous. <laughs> no, I'm a flying plumber. So graceful, sure you're all jealous. Yeah. But guys, if you're, in case you were wondering, this is actually my main LP right now. Ocarina of Time is my side LP. If you're wondering, because I already completed it once. But yeah, uh, you also may notice that I got rid of all the other Ocarina of Time videos because well. Since I started a new one, I don't, I don't see any reason to have the old one up because, well, yeah, I could show you my last run, but I really am not too proud of it. You know, I, I didn't have the greatest quality and I didn't have the greatest commentary. Like, I was like, like whenever I went to a chest, I would be like, -na 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 but that's pretty funny right there. But that's actually pretty funny to make fun of. You can go to make fun of that if you want, but yeah, I don't really like it. So, for the next two red coins, just go ahead and kick this thing over and head over here. The last two are up top of these platforms. There's there's number seven and there's number eight. And there's a star. So anyways, it's time for this. Suicide! Oh, well, you know, I didn't die. Yay! Star. Time for the next course, guys. Okay, for this one we're gonna do fall into the cave islands. The last course here, I give it a three out of five. Because you have to act because it's hard to control this guy, I must say. Because you have to control this owl, you have to grab onto it and hold on A and control him. It's really hard. And I must, must say the controls for it are really difficult and hard to figure out. For me, well, it was f hard to figure out. This is based off of my opinions, guys, not yours. Well, not anybody else's, you know. I think about the course myself and I just go ahead and like, use my opinion in that fact to see how hard it is. You know, my opinion is the one that you're looking for when you, if you're watching my Let's Play. But whatever. So anyway, you gotta control this thing over to the cage where the stars hit it and like drop down. Just gotta drop down onto that cage to see if you can like get to it. I'm failing right now. I can't I'm not getting anywhere to that cage. Am I? Guys. Am I? Yeah, no I'm not. I'm gonna drop down. Wait, that was I don't that wasn't supposed to happen. I was supposed to drop down. Ugh. Oh, I'm just like a little bit broken inside my mouth. Yeah. This one person, t this one person actually said, t t told me, they they um messaged me saying you should make a burp video where you like take, a bit, where I drink some cola and then I burp. It's like that's kind of funny actually. I like your idea, but I'm not gonna do it. I might do it some other time when I'm like maybe I'll show a clip of mine just for like a, uh, 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 yeah something like that. But whatever. So anyways, we got the fifth star here or the sixth one uh, now it's time for the hundred coin mission I'm gonna be talking during this hundred coin mission because I couldn't find any music that was long enough for it 
because the because I couldn't find any music that was long enough because I took a look because I didn't take so much time to do it and I don't want to actually not speed it up actually in that case whatever so anyways now that now you can probably tell that, that, that this is the post commentary right now because well I couldn't like real but because if I put my voice in here it'll just shorten my voice and that that really suck I can like, probably like speed up my voice but I don't see any point in doing that you know it's probably gonna go like well, whatever. Yeah. But anyways, the coins right here are pretty straightforward. I mean, I already got like 78. Going for the coins. Yeah, get, be sure to get the get the red coins. They are really conducive in this fact. And make sure to destroy these things because they give out a lot of coins. And oh, I can't strip my bold way down there. Whatever. I'm gonna shoot to the top. Watch. Yay! Ah. Hopefully I can Oh, I got one life left. I'm gonna die. Oh, yay. We got the star side. Anyways, guys, this is Maximum here, and I am signing off. Peace out.